Alright folks, this is episode 9 of the Quake 2 Remastered Playthrough. This is going to be the last episode and is going to contain Unit 9 and Unit 10. There are a lot of secrets and backtracking here in Unit 9, so let's kick things off. This level in particular has a ton of Icarus that like to pop out of nowhere and ambush you. So stay frosty out there. You made me use all my bullets. Zap. Zoop. Oh, you were just waiting, weren't you? Line them up, knock them down. See, they just kind of zip in out of nowhere. Okay. Oh, look, another one. Give them the old razzle-dazzle and move on. Who's got the biggest railgun in the West? I think it's me. We got an armor here in this dark little alcove. Um, secret number one. It's gonna be right here. Blow through that wall. And collect yourself a power shield. Got my bullets recharged, so that portcullis is closed. In order to open it, we gotta climb up over the gate. Hop on down here. Tap the pressure plate. And while we're up here, we're gonna zoom on over here. Smash that like button right there which is going to reveal secret number two. Another little weapons cache. I'm always kind of sad when I don't need an armor. I just feel bad leaving them behind. Okay, so since we got an invulnerable, where'd you come from? Um, a little later on we're gonna come out here. There's a very good chance that these guys are gonna get resurrected because that alcove up there is gonna pop open and spawn some medics, but we're just gonna leave them be. Most of the time what happens is they get stuck up there and they can't come down. Uh, so we'll see what happens. This bridge will collapse, so make sure to be cautious while crossing. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and pop an invulnerability. So we got another one up there. And here's a new enemy, the tank commander. This is basically a deluxe Buford. That's literally, literally all they are. Just a beefier version of the Buford, or the tank, if that's what you like to call them. Nice little trap. All of this for little old me. Suck on this. One more? One more. Okay. Now at some point while you come down here, um, an alarm is supposed to sound and then that will spawn the medics and that what is it? Secret number three out there in the main area. I don't know exactly where it is that that triggers, but we're going to go ahead and go in a little deeper just to make sure that it triggers. And we're... Oh. Look at this little surprise. What a lovely surprise. I haven't seen one of these guys in forever. 
Deluxe Buford. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. Go to sleep. Okay. Now we can go back. Don't forget the old bridge. It's really easy to forget. And then you fall in the lava. So see, they always get stuck. Give them one little zoop. And another little zap. And then the old zoopity bop. And they'll drop right down. He's going for the resurrect. I don't know what he's doing. He's a pacifist. He's not a fighter. He's a lover. So now we can zoom on across one more time. Replenish the invulnerability. And grab secret number three. Nothing special. It's just a couple of med packs. Uh, that we don't need. Actually, do I need the armor? Oh, look at that. I can finally go grab that armor that I cared so much about. Go. Leave no armor behind. That's what I always say. Old bridge. Gonna catch you slipping. Okay, now we're gonna go left. Pop down here. These guys love to eat bullets. It's their favorite food. So it would behoove us to oblige them. Over here, grab that, and we're gonna hop down here. We're gonna go this way first. Hop up right here. Take note of this. We will be coming back for that shortly. We're gonna need to disable the red force field in the next level. Hop up through here. A long range weapon is preferable. Come back. What was it done? Did I get him? Got him. Line him up. Knock him down. Grab this little angle grinder, aka data spinner here. Shoot that. Open. Grab secret number four. How are you? I need that. Give me that. Grab some rockets. Rockets are going to be in short supply from here on out. So pick them up when you can. We're going to come back through this way. Come up this way. Oops. That's enough out of you. Okay. So we got one more enemy. Interesting. It's probably an Icarus that was late to the party. Go ahead and hop up here. This is going to be a running theme in these last... Last two levels. There you are. He's going for a little dip. Okay, so this entrance is the main entrance to the lower palace, but we don't want to go through there yet. We want the back entrance, which is going to be right here. Alright, 
so this is actually try number two. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, secret number one. It's gonna be right here. That's just a laser on the wall, don't worry too much about it. It's kinda just a minor annoyance. Like those guys. Rust pass off. Where? He's out there. Where'd he go? Alright, fine. I'll come to you. There's gonna be a whole lot of bad boards out here. Uh oh. Deluxe out there. I thought, where'd he go? Oh, he's down here. He didn't make his way up yet. Give him a break, he's slow. Excuse me! Excuse me! Secret number two. Did that blow up? That was interesting. I didn't know it did that. Shooting both of those faces will lower that little fountain. Hop down here. Hey man, no fair. I was supposed to kill you. Grab a couple more rockets. Peekaboo, peekaboo. Oh, he's trying to trap me, eh? Yeah, this level is. It definitely seems like it's not possible to get all 61 enemies, even though I know I've done it before. Drop that, that's going to be the red force field. Okay. Back out. We're going to go back through this way. And go grab secret number five. If you remember, it was down here. In the underwater area. Right here. You know, that red key is very important. It allows access to probably the coolest secret in the game. So you're gonna want to grab it. Okay. Yep, that's everything in that. I think it's outer courts or something it's called. First level. Okay. Now we can proceed. Proceed. Do a flip. Here comes big boy. Deluxe Buford. Twice the beef. Twice the heat. What? Where? How could there be a trespasser in our midst? I'm gonna zip you up. Busted! I gotta use this. Oh, 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 oh. I did not want to do that. <laughs> I meant to hit the railgun button. That was a total waste. Alright, we got plenty of energy cells laying around. Let's 
you smack me. Hold still. Buford, is that you? Hey, you stop that. I was sharing a moment with Buford. Ping pong. Uh, what is this? Secret number three. Right there. Shooting that's going to permanently disable this gun. Oh, close call there. Getting pretty slick with that rocket launcher. Um, but if for whatever reason you don't see that or don't shoot it, you can shoot that. Where did you come from? To temporarily raise that wall and prevent yourself from getting Swiss cheesed. It's big ounce. Woo woo! The cruel fate of Big Ounce from the Urban Rescue Ranch. He was turned into a technician by those strong bastards. Uh oh, busted. Take cover! You'll need to be quicker than that. Now, pop in that data spinner right there on the left side. I'm gonna go this way. Whoa, it's a party. How come I was not invited? The Brain Society. Who's doing that? Is that them? Almost thought there was an enemy up there. That I think that opens that green door. Um, secret number five. This little block right here. Push it. Reveals this. Mega health. Always appreciated. And we're just gonna go ahead and go this way. Riser. Milady. You're looking extra striking tonight. Oh, I should have let her shoot him. Okay. It's now in the upper palace. Secret number one, you're gonna come down here. We can't get that yet, but that'll be later. Just wait right here for a moment. That'll blow up. Shoot that. Get yourself an environment suit. Give me that. I need that for my BFG that I wasted earlier. What are you doing? you out. Put you out of your misery. Ride this up. Come through here. Not that. That's not what I meant to do. You guys have been sharing the same routine I see. Okay, so what I meant to do 
Come over here, shoot this. Grab secret number two. You got the power shield over there, so don't forget it. It's easy to miss. Open this back up. And drop down. Use the ladder or not, it's totally optional. I prefer not to. Go around there. Get some ammo. Go ahead and use the ladder this time. I'll conform to the constraints of society just this once. Come in here, grab our security pass. Grab some more nades. Okay. Do I need that? I don't need that. What's a pretty long thing like you doing around here? I said long, I meant young. Ignorant. Um, let's see here. So, yeah, we can't do that yet. This last unit is really easy to kind of get mixed up. That's right, okay. I know what I gotta do. I know now what I must do. So now, that was the lower entrance. So now we want the upper entrance. So we're gonna come back through. We're gonna go this way. Bounce for me. This is what we are going to be. This is how we are going to be disabling our yellow force fields. This last unit is super confusing and it's kind of hard to follow along with what you're actually doing. But after you do it a couple of times, like I have, it starts to make sense. What's going on here? I never kill all four of them. I'm gonna go right first. Secret number two. Hey, Rude. See, that one was polite. He politely just hung back until I could speak. So yeah, secret number three, right there. Fight, 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 fight. Uh -huh. My Machiavellian plan is coming together. You dead yet? He did. And that is how you conserve ammo in a struggling Strog economy. In uncertain times, you never know when you might need an extra grenade. So there's another gun wall right there. This one cannot be permanently disabled, so shoot that to temporarily abate the fire. And we're going to drop down here for secret number four. Yep, just do that. It doesn't last very long, so move with some sort of expediency. grenades at me. This is called the Pogo. I see you up there. Oh, that went right in my mouth. All I can taste is rocket. Stop that. Did I get her? I don't know if I got her. I think I got her. Then open that door right here. This is going to disable the yellow force fields. The button is on the back. Yeah. Let's go ahead and add that. 
Now we can go through the right force field. Line them up, and I knock them down. Didn't work. How could this be? Yes, sir. Why are you running? Whoa, that one went right in my mouth, too. Come back here. I'm not done talking to you. <laughs> Hard at work over there, I see. Whoa! This was uh, from earlier, so now that yellow force field is disabled. And you're going to want to come over here. That's going to be the last force field. I think there's two new force fields we got to disable. Uh, let's go this way first. Yeah, two. Uh, where is it? Secret number five is going to be right here. A little dark corner of that hallway. Very easy to miss. Come back around. Okay, now we can go this way. Come to me, elevator. Kind of like when you walk through automatic doors and pretend you're a Jedi and you force open them. I'm not the only one that does that, am I right? Right? I'm just kidding, I don't really do that. I, I just made it up. Um, okay. So now we can just go ahead all the way down. Come back to this other elevator. Hop down here. This is now open. Hit that button. And this is the final two secrets. So shoot that wall. Grab an environmental suit. Or body armor, I should say. Now the last secret, you're going to jump over here. This little rock sticks out of the wall. Just walk into it. Throw on your environment suit. And swim through here. This is like the coolest, probably the coolest Easter egg in the game. So that poster is John Carmack with his Ferrari. Um, I would recommend checking out Sandy Peterson's channel. It's called Sandy of Cthulhu, I believe. He was one of the level designers on the Doom games and Quake. I don't think he worked on Quake 2, but he has a pretty interesting story about John and this Ferrari. Highly recommended channel. He's got tons of awesome stories about id and working on these uh, these old school first person shooters. So check him out. So the red key is needed for this console. Smacking that will lower the Mountain Dew to reveal the head of our Lord and Savior, John Carmack himself, in all of its pixelated glory. That gives you the equivalent of five adrenalines, which adds a permanent five points to your health pool. Throw on the second environment suit we grabbed. Swim on back through. So that should be all the secrets now. This is upper palace, yeah. Okay. So. We are just about done with this. Now we got a mosey on back to Upper Palace. Lower Palace, I'm sorry. Lower Palace. Okay, what is that? 55. So there's quite a few more enemies. Uh oh. Good to 
five more, so we'll see what happens this time around. We've already done that. Oh no, we didn't. My bad. So yeah, pop the data CD in there. Hit that. And our newly written data spinner will emerge from the depths. There's one more secret, um, but before we go grab it, what is that, 61, 62, so 63, big Buford right there, deluxe Buford. Three. Okay. I think we might be good this time. Because I know, I believe I know where the last enemy is. I believe. We have a disabled destroyer on communication later. Come down here. Not that way. This way. We're going to come back to the lower entrance. Way over yonder. Right here, come back through where we grabbed secret number one. Remember that wall, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that, grab that last one. Come up through here. Come up here. Yep. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the last enemy and the last secret. A bountiful cache of delicious food for our guns. All right, let's get at it. Oh, and that's where you can grab the last, uh, that invulnerability that you may have seen floating around. Try to hop on the ladder. And now we can round things out with Upper Palace. Our business is now complete in Lower Palace. Yeah. Come on this way. We have a disabled and destroyed order on communication late. Take one last ride on ye old elevator. Yep. Just double checking. I tried this like four times and every time there was just that one last enemy that would not spawn. I watch it make a fool out of me and have one last enemy not spawn in Upper Palace. Okay, so... I think we went this way. here this is really hard to catch to be honest with you and there's been multiple times where I've ran through here like four or five times and can't figure out where to go so where you picked up the data CD you're just gonna come stand right here and the elevator will come down that'll destroy the little piece of modern art there Is 
that it? That's it. Wow, hello there, darlings. Allow me to help you to your feet, my lady. May I have this dance? Should be, yep. Woo! Goodbye, big ounce. And that is gonna do it. That's everything. Lower the door to our little space shuttle here. Smack that exit button. Here we go. 35 minutes. That's not too bad. All right. We're gonna jump right into Unit 10 and the final boss. Now this time I am gonna quick save. Grab some goodies. Stand back from that door. Pretty sure those will kill you. I've never actually tried it to find out, but we'll just assume they do. I missed all those goodies. All right, time out. Okay. What? Oh, it's because I got my head stuck underneath the lip. Come on, go. I like this level because it has like the, the Macron laughing with the music. You're going to have two Iron Maidens with one on either side here. And what you're going to do is wait for this to come back out. You're still going to have to jump. Run on over and grab the other one. You can jump over here if you really want to. Come on over here. I'm going to quick save again. This next spot, it's fairly easy to die just by falling in lava, so we don't want to do that after we've come all this way. Oh, it's the Macron. Get him! President of France. Okay, so you can't do that yet. Don't try it. Instead, what you want to do is wait for that laser to go around the back. Step on it. Get away from it quickly. Because these guys will come down and knock you in the lava. Okay. Now go ahead and grab the other one. Once again, get away from it. The flyers will knock you in the lava. Both of these. Here we go. Macron time. Now there is one secret in this level. And I will show it to you. It is... It is either the coolest secret or a close second to that John Carmack secret. I'll leave that up to you to decide. All right. We're gonna go ahead and pop quad damage and deal with the Macron. Or I can't remember if the Macron's the little guy inside or I can't remember the name of this suit. It has its own name. Cover and fire, cover and fire. He has a BFG 10,000 as well, and it is no joke. There's the Macron. So for the Macron, let's go ahead and pop an invulnerability. We can get a good look at him. Oh, someone fell down. So you see he's got the brain there in the center. And that's it. You are done for. 
If you kill him up against the wall, then this upper half will fall into the wall, clip into the wall, and you won't be able to see him flopping around. Go ahead and shoot his brain a couple of times for good measure. Okay, so the last secret, what you want to do, hop on one of these pressure pads and then run to the opposite side. Now this, you you can come down here before you kill the Macron, but you will not be able to see this Easter egg. So just wait until you kill the Macron. Come on through here. I'm going to quick save real quick, because you can't actually die in here. So um, this is the id gallery. So there's our Lord and Savior himself, John Carmack. I don't know who that is. Donna Jackson. Adrian Carmack. They are not related, by the way. John and Adrian. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that um, Sandy Peterson did not work on this game. So this is the one that can kill you. So get away from it. Or is it this one? I can't remember which one. Some really cool art right there. And we're going to hop down here. And here is the final Easter egg. The king himself. Bathed in glory. Buford! What is best in life? To lay waste to your enemies. And see them driven before you. And to hear the lamentation of the Iron Maidens. That is good. Cool stuff. <laughs> Alright. I'm easily amused, forgive me. And that's gonna do it. We can go ahead and, and hop into our escape pod. Like I said, you can definitely die in here. One of them spits acid. I can't remember which one. I think it's the red one. He spits like acid and stuff. And yeah, just be careful. It'd be a shame to die after coming all this way. Oh, we can't. We gotta go the other way. Right? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. You just gotta hit that. And that should open both of them. All right. So now. <sighs> Hop in the old escape pod. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's everything. Minus the one enemy that doesn't spawn in a toxic waste dump. But I think that's pretty much everything there is to Quake 2 Remastered. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is probably going to be my last video for a while. I'm honestly getting kind of uh, disheartened by my uh, YouTube progress. I do not seem to gain any subscribers and I get super low view counts on my videos. Uh, it is fun to make videos but it's also pretty time consuming so I'm probably going to hang up the uh, content creation thing at least for the time being. Um, so if you are one of the few people that do actually watch them I appreciate it. I do hope you enjoy it. Um, but yeah that's it for now. Um, catch you next time maybe. We'll just play this final little cinematic here. <laughs>